Today we're going to give you a quick tip on how to deal with backlit subjects. It's something that beginners struggle with um, and for some reason we always seem to put someone in front of a very bright window and just hope it works out. So I'm going to give you a couple of different approaches. Uh, great for beginners, uh, new to the Fuji system, uh, how to deal with the, a subject that has a lot of light coming through a window or anything behind. One quick suggestion is you may want to turn the person around the other way if the background isn't too bad is use the light from the window. Uh, but if you must shoot towards a window, here's something you can do. Okay, first, let's talk about if you're shooting aperture priority. That means that you have the camera picking a shutter speed for you. Um, and what happens is if you're in the default evaluative matrix metering mode, well, that means that your camera takes an overall reading of the scene and it sees that window. It totally sees that and takes that into consideration. Uh, and your subject, if our little snowman there, he's gonna be a little bit dark in the picture. All right, the first thing you may wanna do is use your exposure compensation dial and just turn that up to plus one, plus two, plus three. You're gonna find that it, with a very backlit subject, you're gonna keep going all the way up to the most that goes and you'll probably be able to get a decent exposure. So that's one way you can get your subject to ex be exposed correctly. The second is to switch your metering mode to spot metering. If you notice, it totally picks whatever you want. And so you can exactly pick that little snowman there. Uh, one thing to note is the size of your focus also affects the spot meter. So you may want to reduce its size as well. Now let's say you want to um, meter on the person but recompose with spot meter. Well, you're going to have to lock your exposure by using your exposure lock. Now mine is set to autofocus, so I had to switch it to exposure, uh, auto exposure lock. So what you want to do real quick is you want to um, make sure I'm in my spot meter. I set my exposure um, and now I hold down this button and you're going to see a little blue auto exposure lock indicator at the bottom. And now if I go anywhere, it will not spot meter. Okay. If I let go of that button, it will. But once I get my exposure, I can lock it and then recompose and shoot. Okay, the third thing you can do is get out of one of the auto modes, okay? So we can put this exposure wheel back to zero and you can shoot manual. That means your lens is on manual, your ISO is on something you pick and get that shutter dial off the A and now you're actually shooting in manual mode and this works great because you can actually, with our EVF preview, you can see exactly what's gonna happen with the picture when you change any of your settings. So you can pick a shutter speed, you can pick an aperture, um, and then you can fire your shot and your, your, whoa, and your subject will be perfectly exposed. So shooting manual is another way. Now again, manual seems to be the one that if you're a beginner, uh, just dial in until you see a preview of what you want the picture to look like. That's the power of the EVF, which is great. Um, and so I would say shoot manual if you have a backlit subject, but remember you have that spot meter in your little tool of tricks there, and that'll help you get a good exposure on putting people in front of a window.